that's not bad. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh, my braces. How funny. See, oh, the lighting was bad in that. You were right. Oh, look at the portrait, but the lighting is not right. But that is awful. <laughs> On this edition of Cooking with Strider, Eddie made snickerdoodles and it just doesn't look right. But you know what? They're good. This is keto snickerdoodle. I'm like, you should have had an egg. They're good, but you should have had an egg. Today on our menu board, it has been requested that I make you guys bacon cheeseburger bowl with spicy butternut squash sauteed thyme mushrooms and balsamic spinach with parm. And that's what's going to happen today. I'm in a very good mood to be prepared for what's to come. This one's quick and easy. Quick and easy. That's what I like. I'm a busy person. I don't have time for not quick and easy. You know what Costco has? Really good burgers. This is so easy. Like for the days that I've been out, which I have today, talking for the first time in so long, that's coming soon, if it hasn't come already. And I'm tired. I want a delicious meal. I don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen and I'm hungry, I wanna eat now. I put it on my little indoor grill. This grill has like paid for itself in spades. We used to have our big grill outside and it was our gas grill and I used to have to go out there every single time to cook some sausage or whatever and turn it on, wait for it to heat up. Then I found out that they have these. I'm worried to look inside. Yep, gotta clean it. We're not gonna start that just yet. We are going to put these back in because these guys need to actually be frozen. They cook five minutes on each side, 10 minutes total. You got a burger. You don't have to think about it, but we do cheeseburger bacon. What I also like to do, and I found this out on accident, because I usually get the bigger butternut squash on keto. Butternut squash is amazing on keto. I say keto, but we're low carb, but anyway. This butternut squash with sriracha mayo, so good. Then I found out that they come in little butternut squashes. Then I found out I could put it in the air fryer and it cooks really fast, like 20 minutes tops. So let's work on this first and then I'll scramble around and work on the rest. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, let it get hot so I can just scrub all the stuff off the top because that's just how we roll in this house. Now look, here's another thing in this house I don't like to do, dishes or clean up. Since I do most of the cooking, Eddie typically does the dishes. <laughs> Master, okay. Time. <laughs> I am going to do everything in this little bag. We're yeah. having burgers. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but can I just show you guys? <laughs> oh, I already did. <laughs> you need to put an egg in that. <laughs> Look, in my defense, keto cookies are hard because you can't use regular flour. You have to use almond flour. Look what I found at HEB though. Keto bigger flour, yeah, I totally forgot Look at that. that. You know how expensive this was? I'm not even gonna tell you. It was so expensive. How much? It was $20. <laughs> what? You know how much flour is one dollar? Do not sneeze when you prepare those. So I haven't touched it because I don't know what's worth twenty dollars. It's a fancy flour. So everything's going to be in this, and let me tell you, I call this spicy butternut squash because it's gonna get good. First of all, we need oil because we need something for the spices to stick to. Then I'm gonna do salt, Peppa. rosemary, and butternut squash is so yummy. I don't really know too much on half teaspoon, half tablespoon, I just go. Smoked paprika, oh my goodness. Listen, if a recipe calls for smoked paprika, use it. If a recipe calls for regular paprika and you only have smoked paprika, don't use it. <laughs> I did that and it was like, oh, I can taste that smoked paprika. It's really powerful. But in here, it's perfect. Next up, a little pinch of cayenne, because that chili powder is already gonna give it some spice. Again, we like it spicy, and the mayo really cuts the spice, and that's going into this bowl. And then a little bit of cumin, only a little bit. We don't like that much. It smells like armpit to us, but I understand the value of it and understand it, but when it's too cumin-y, I'm like, ooh. Bro, where's my garlic powder? Where's my garlic powder? I've lost the garlic powder, and Eddie will pay. Eddie will pay. Oh, it's all big. <laughs> okay, and a little bit of garlic powder. Oops, that was a lot. Whatever. All right, now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to push it, push it, push it. Now, the problem that I'm having right now <laughs> the bag is too small. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna close it. I'm just gonna gently do this. Man, those tops are really coated, aren't they? 
Doesn't it seem like they need more? If you have a bigger bag, I suggest use it. Now, we just cooked something very greasy in here and I did not clean it because it's all down there. I need to clean that. Lined my parchment paper. See how well the toss I did? <laughs> Where's the parchment? There it is. Oh, look, half of it. <laughs> Let's just do a little better mixer. There we go, look, like nothing. All right, parchment paper lined, and we are going to put these in for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees, which might be too much. I don't remember. So I will keep my eye on them. Don't they look so delightful in there? Close it up. Let's see, let's do about 15 minutes. Temp is going to be 400, but we're gonna keep our eye on them. Now the clock starts. <laughs> let's go, put that in. Wrong one, put that in. So listen, I got 15 minutes and we're gonna have dinner in 15 minutes. Bam, boom, bam, boom. Dinner. We like bacon cheeseburger. This bacon's really good if you need bacon in a pinch, but nothing beats bacon like bacon, bacon. Fresh bacon, bacon. Bacon is how we do this. Gotta let it simmer a little bit and then toss the fat. Bye-bye fat, bye-bye. Okay. Ah! Who put that there? Here's where it gets fun. Four of these are on. We're gonna cook that till they're cooked. This is ready to go. I'm at 12 minutes over there. I'm gonna wait for 10 minutes so that my burgers will be on time. So when that dings, it's like ding, ding, time to go. <laughs> well, let's get two of these guys out. This is where my frantic energy comes in handy. We like to find our strengths and use them. <laughs> so I cook, be clean. And these are stuck in here. Get out, release. The burger! Ah! I'm okay, I'm okay. Now let's get everything else out, ready to go. We need to make the balsamic, I have a recipe. I combined two recipes. I put this one on some really good paper because I didn't know that the cardstock was in there and it's just so nice. It really holds up. I'm gonna combine two recipes. No, this one's it. This one's the recipe because I saw the other one. I'm like, man, why don't they put this and that, and then I really liked this one. A spicy perspective. Oh, let's flip these guys. We don't want them too crispy, but I do like them crispy, but I just got my braces tightened with a bigger wire, and I'm like, eee, where's the soup? Uh-oh, that says nine minutes. These gotta go on. One, two. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. We're gonna start with one of these little things because we're gonna have enough leftover for tomorrow, so that will give us a uh, dinner and a lunch. Those are done. Where are the delicious Mushrooms. Ah, I like mushrooms. Eddie doesn't necessarily like them, but he'll eat them. So here we are. Salt, pepper, time. Yum. Oh, this one hasn't been opened yet. And some time. It's so tasty with time. Okay, we're gonna do a slow saute on this, so let's keep it low. What are we doing over here? Five minutes. All right, that means I need to get up on my sauce. We eat in five, babe. Okay, check it. Fourth cup, extra virgin olive oil. One fourth. Fourth cup, balsamic, aged. Mine isn't very aged. Fourth cup, <laughs> balsamic. This, I realized, had less sugars and less carbs than the other ones, so I chose this one. Balsamic vinegar of Modena. Fourth cup. Oh, no. Five minutes, see, that's what happens. They all get on there. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Alexa. Stop timer. All right. Okay, this is where it gets crazy. Alexa, stop timer. All right, these need to flip. And while they're flipped, this is where we add the cheese. One cheese, one cheese. Five minutes. So we don't need that, we have no, that's on three. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. And what three ingredients are three ingredient mm -hmm. buttermilk biscuits? All right, let's do a little stirry terry. Let's get that low, man. Hello, can you go? Okay, where were we? Two to three tablespoons of honey. You can't do honey on keto. Let me tell you how much carbs honey is. Where's the carbs on this? Where are your carbs? Where's the carb count on this? This doesn't have a carb count. That's not nice. I only do one at a time. It's like split up between me and Eddie over two nights. It's not that much carbs enough to brick you. It'll work. And we're not even gonna let it drip all the way out. Now here comes the other fun part. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard grape poupon. Here's one. Get out. Here's two. 
half a teaspoon of dry thyme. I do not have half a teaspoon. I had a fourth, so we're gonna do how many? Two, one, two. Gotta do a little mixy mixy. You guys are looking delicious. One garlic, one massive garlic, because we love garlic. Hold on, I gotta, ugh, ugh, okay. Uh-oh, it's not dinner time yet. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Chop, chop, chop. Man, there's bits of cookie in this. All right, we got that in there, and let's do some salt and pepper. Salt, pepper, 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 pepper. Close this up, and we shake it, 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 shake it. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator tonight and it's gonna get nice and congealed. And what we do is we leave it out for five minutes and it decongeals. If I have no patience, I microwave. Look at that yumminess. Put this to the side. Let's go check in on this. They are done. A little crispy. <laughs> okay, 15's too much. Needs to be like 10 minutes for that. <laughs> okay, these are done. We're looking good. Now we need to make the salad. We're gonna use baby spinach. I'm not gonna use this bowl. I'm gonna use that because we're gonna use the whole thing of that. Spinach is so good for you. I love spinach. Oh no. Everything's done and I'm not ready. Stop timer. This actually looks like it might could use a little more so I'm just gonna let that sit. All right, I gotta hurry up, I gotta hurry up. Okay, so let me get the Parmesan. Throw in a bunch of Parm, okay? Mixy, mixy, or half of it. Cause we're gonna save the rest for tomorrow. I like doing double meals. I used to not like that, now I love it. Too many things to do in life. Mix it up. Now listen, Eddie actually likes burgers. Don't judge me, I don't like burgers. I like burgers, I just don't like burgers. I don't like the bread part of the burgers. When you go keto, nothing is gonna be the same as that. I just like the meat of the burgers. So I started putting it on my salad and it's been amazing. And that's how I came up with the burger bowl. Well, that and Hat Creek had a burger bowl and it was actually really delicious. They used uh, sweet potatoes instead of butternut squash, but they didn't put any sauce and it was so bland. And I'm like, man, y'all need to put some sauce up on here. It is time to plate. I'm gonna use my round big plates because there's so much going on. We're gonna clean up as I go. Those are so much stuff. <laughs> half and half. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the side. Gosh, I can smell the balsamic. It's so yummy. I like more salad than he does. And since I'm not having an actual burger, this is gonna be my salad bowl. So I'm gonna put more on my side. That's right. I said it, I did it. Get some of that good balsamic. Yes! Now it's time to peel our butternut squash out. Man, it looks great. 15 minutes is too long, <laughs> but it's fine. Now it's time for the mushrooms. Yum, yum. I love mushrooms. Eddie's like, man, so I get more mushrooms than he does, cause why give away the good mushrooms if you ain't gonna eat it? So Eddie's bacon is gonna actually go on his burger. So mine, I like to put mine on the side to give me a choice of when to eat it or to even just smear it all around. I think I want it on this side instead. One little spot over here is gonna be for the sriracha mayo. So I'm gonna put, uh, my mayo here and the sriracha sauce. I used to like put it in another bowl, switch it up a little bit. It does not matter, just put it like that. And then it swirls itself together when you start mixing things around. Very important in the keto world are avocados. I don't know why, <laughs> they just are. How beautiful is this avocado? Avocado is gonna come over to the side. I like to do something else with avocados too. They're so tasty. I'm gonna show you in just a second. Let me just squish them all over. I like to add salt on them. A teensy bit of cilantro. Teensier for him, he doesn't like it as much, but if I don't tell him I put it on there, he will eat it. That's just how he rolls. <laughs> That's why I love him. A little squeeze of lime. Now I got these little limes because how much I squeeze little bits of lime rather than whole pieces. So a little bit of lime. Ugh, oh, they're so good. And all the seeds. All right, now let's go tend to the burgers. This is my burger. I'm just gonna cut it in pieces and lay it on top. With my braces, I need to push these to the back of my teeth. <laughs> now these are gonna go in over here. And there is my burger bowl. Now let's make Eddie's sandwich. This bread again, Sola. I don't know if they sell them in your stores, but 2G net carbs, you don't, you don't feel the carb crash so much with that. Mayo, the mayo, squish it around. There we go. That one doesn't need to be squished around. There's his burger. All said and done. Oh, don't let me forget the bacon, actually. I forgot, I do take the rest of the bacon and put them on his plate because he only needs one of them really. All right, let's clean up as we go. Wait, I hear a little voice. Where is the voice? What is going on down here? Oh, hi little Mew Mew. Get close, you can hear her purring. <laughs> She's like, what's this? 
What is this? This is our eye booger session. I go in and she lets me get all the eye boogers out because Persians, man, they get a lot of eye bugs. You know why? Their eyes are so big. Yeah. That it waters easily. Yeah. And so they, man, she's getting big. Look at your hand on her. You have no. big hands. Look at she's getting bigger. Yeah, these hands are a big girl. All right, babe. Topo Chicos, please. It's yeah. time to eat. Yeah. And just like that, I'm done. Okay, on the reel, it took like 25 minutes, but. Still, it's 25 minutes. Had I had everything out ahead of time, it might have been better. But here's his burger. Lately, I think he's like double him up on there. Here's his bowl, stands the burger. Doesn't it look delightful? <laughs> I used to be so scared of cooking. I met Eddie. He doesn't care. He just likes food. So it's uh, nice because it allows me to try things. This place is filled with mosquitoes. Yeah. Oh, Are they good? Yeah. Costco. For the win. And now we take a picture for the thumbnail. What do you think, babe? Does that look good? Hold on, let's do portrait. Mm, you need more passion. Just look better. at that passion. Oh wait, no, I'm the chef. I should be in it. Here, take that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna put this here. Yeah. So we can show, this is what we do. This is literally what we do. Hold on one second. Let me put that there. All right, babe, I just pop it. Okay, just I need to be in the sun it. though. What? I'm in the sun. What about the photographer, bro? <laughs> I ain't That's moving. Man that you need I to ain't move. moving. Back, move. Now I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was oh, oh, the one time done deal. Yeah. Look at the face. No, Duck lips. Duck lips. Duck lips. Also, the portrait ah. mode is weird. Yeah, because we're not in our light. What's wrong with you? Babe, I need to eat. No, get up. Oh. All right, turn around. Okay. Now turn off this light. Awesome. Okay. All right, that's it. Yeah! We're done! And now we investigate what he's done. Hey, that's not bad! <laughs> oh my gosh, my braces, how funny. See, oh, the lighting was bad in that. You were right. Oh, look at the portrait, but the lighting is not right. But that is awful. <laughs> Duck lips. Oh my goodness. That one's not a bad one. Oh, look at what happened. That's when it was raining on me. I put an umbrella there. Anyway, okay. So that's it for us. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.